weekly rant for episode 120 of Go Tell Us The Wall podcast. I actually threw this one together kind of last minute because I was sitting on it. I had a totally different rant lined up for this, this particular episode. Uh, and this is, it's going to go over the head of some of you out there. But I, I, I do want to give a little background because the it has to do with sports, but the importance here is not necessarily sports. It's What's important here is the fallout uh, and the blame that is being laid out uh, to, to various different people. And I'm talking about a cheating scandal that happened in Major League Baseball. It happened a few years ago, but has come to light recently, uh, and we got a full report about it from Major League Baseball, everything else. Uh, regarding the, the Houston Astros uh, blatantly cheating and stealing signs, I don't want to get into details on that because that's not important for the weekly rant here. Uh, and, and then we're, we're hearing stuff coming out about a lot of other teams. The Boston Red Sox, for example, or another team. Uh, and, and, and as much as people don't want to hear it, there, there's actually many, many other teams that have been uh, have been brought to light uh, based on based on uh, previous experiences players have had with those organizations. So th this is nowhere near done. But that's not what I'm going to rant about. I'm not going to sit here and rant about the integrity of the game and all this other stuff. Because because here's the thing: when it comes to professional sports, professional sports uh, is entertainment. That's what it is. I realize they are athletes, and a lot of these athletes out there, you know, they are fighting to make a living. You know, they, they, they're trying to make a team, whatever it might be. They're fighting to make a living, but at the end of the day, it's entertainment. It is the same thing as, as pulling up a YouTube video and watching a YouTube video of someone that you enjoy. It's the same thing as going to a concert. It's the same thing as going to Comic-Con. It, it's, it's entertainment, and that's what it is. Now, to some people, that entertainment means a little bit more, has a little bit deeper meaning, in the same way that those other things do. People that go to concerts, they've been following a band for 20 years, 25 years. I have bands like that. I'm the old guy at a lot of these concerts now. Going to Comic-Con because you, you've been reading comics since you were a kid. Well, for, for a lot of people, sports and specific teams reminds them of childhood. Maybe you watched sports with your mom or your dad or your entire family growing up, and that's where, <clears throat> that's where your fanhood comes from. That's where mine comes from. That's why I'm a Boston fan. That's why I'm a Bruins fan. That's why I'm a Red Sox fan. That's why I'm a Patriots fan. I'm also not a Celtics fan, for those of you familiar with the Boston sports scene, uh, because my father was not a Celtics fan. We, were not, we didn't watch basketball growing up. But for me, my fanhood comes from that, remembering what it was like to enjoy those things as a kid, and then now sharing them with my young daughter. My young daughter, uh, she doesn't love baseball. She loves watching. She likes watching a little football. She loves hockey. Thank, thank God, because that is the number one was number one sport in my house growing up. It's the number one sport in the O'Rourke household now. Uh, so, think about that when it comes to it. But then think about the other side of the entertainment here. Think about the fact that every person that owns a team, every organization that owns a team in all major sports in in the United States of America, they are billionaires, billionaires, not millionaires. Billionaires with a B. All the players that play for them, I don't want to say all, the majority of them are millionaires. Millionaires. And as much as we want to sit back and say, oh, they have so much pride for their city and they have so much pride for their team, the bottom line for players and absolutely 110% for owners is money. Is money. They don't care about how you feel about their team as long as you're watching. As long as they're getting those cable contracts, as long as they're selling tickets and getting people in the door, they don't care. And that's where this cheating scandal comes in. Because they don't give a shit about the fans. It's not important to them. All they care about is making more money and making their team have a higher stature like the Houston Astros did. And again, I'm not talking about integrity of the game. I, don't, I really don't give a shit about that. I just don't. Don't come at me with that. Oh, the integrity of the game. Baseball, especially baseball, specifically baseball, has been dirty since the turn of the fucking century. It has. Go, go do some research on Babe Ruth. Go do some research on the 1919 White Sox. 1919, 100 years ago. It's been dirty forever. Am I defending it? Hell no. But if you're going to sit there high and mighty and say, oh, the integrity of the game and all this other stuff, then you need to look back at the entire history and wonder what you've been watching for your entire life, what you've been cheering for for your entire life. But even that's not the most important thing I want to talk about here. That is by no mean the most, means the most important thing I want to talk about here. The most important thing I want to talk about is we have athletes, baseball players, who are coming out on social media and they're talking about this and how upset they are and all this other stuff. Well, here's the thing. You can go cry into your millions of dollars, these professional baseball players, because nothing's going to happen to the players that actually cheated. Nothing outside of what has happened is going to happen to the organizations that actually cheated. Nothing. You know what's going to happen is the backlash comes back on to the fans. I live in Los Angeles. 
Have you heard some of the sports stories that come out of Los Angeles? And I'm not talking about, oh, the Dodgers are a good baseball team. Oh, the Lakers have won a bunch of championships. The Rams went to the Super Bowl. That's not the stuff I'm talking about. I'm talking about people getting the shit beat out of them at Dodger Stadium because they're wearing the wrong hat. And that was before this kind of cheating scandal where we have Dodgers fans who are sitting there saying, well, we won the World Series. And that's fine. Again, if you want to say that, that's fine. But don't bring the wrath down because the wrath that you're bringing and that you're stoking and that flame that you're stoking isn't coming down on those players. They're sitting in their mansions with their millions of dollars. They're going to go play baseball next season and they don't give a shit either. They don't. They're making their money. They're, they made their money from the World Series. None of them care. And none of that, nothing's going to happen to any of them regarding their way of life. However, all these flames being stoked... The Los Angeles City Council saying that World Series should be awarded to the Dodgers. You know what's going to come of that? Because the World Series aren't going to be awarded to the Dodgers. Nothing's going to change beyond what has happened to the Houston Astros. What is going to happen is some poor 21-year-old is going to be who is from Houston and grew up watching the Houston Astros their entire lives. In fact, let's talk about someone in their 40s who was a Houston Astros fan who has literally been a fan of the Astros before some of those players played for the fucking team. Literally. What's going to happen to them? They're going to go walking down the wrong street. Someone's going to see that Houston Astros hat, and they're going to say, hey, it's your fault that the Dodgers didn't win the World Series. And that person wearing a Houston Astros hat is going to get the shit beat out of them. That's what's going to happen. It's exactly what's going to happen. And anyone who tells me differently go to hell because you know that's what's going to happen i'm not i'm not saying it's going to happen everywhere but you know that's going to happen because it's happened before and this was before the flames were being stoked and everyone got so upset and we had players coming out and saying this is terrible and this the integrity of the game and all this other stuff calm it down because at the end of the day the people that are going to get that wrath are the fans of these teams that are being blamed and being blamed with hypocrisy because my favorite is and here's the thing, fans out there, Los Angeles Dodgers have been busted for cheating. Maybe not to the extent of the Houston Astros, but they've literally been busted for cheating. In a similar fashion. Using technology. It, it's happened. They've been busted. As have many other teams. So don't sit all high and mighty. I'm gonna, am I really going to do this Bible verse again? Am, really? This Bible quote? Don't look, at the, don't look at the splinter in someone else's eye without looking at the plank in your own eye. Straight out the Bible. 13 years Catholic school, man. So there's like three verses I remember. That's the bottom line with it. So calm down. Because at the end of the day, it's entertainment. That's all it is. It's an entertainment product. Put out there by billionaires paying millionaires to go play a fucking game. That's all it is. Calm down. Because we're going to move past this. And as much as I appreciate, you know, and maybe I will yell at the TV on occasion, what the hell, when I'm watching one of my teams. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Your team wins, the next day you still go to work. Your team loses, the next day you still go to work. That's what happens. And we're going to learn that it's not important. And from that, we're going to learn to be better, do better, and get better when it comes to anything having to do with something as petty as entertainment. That's all it is. So enjoy it, Wall fans.